click the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to this short video where I'll be discussing about GPA and CGPA where you will learn how to calculate GPA and CGPA and you can even calculate yours before your result is out if you know how to do it. And even you can recalculate when your result is out to confirm that the calculation is done correctly and accordingly and you can have proof of what is pasted as your result. First of all, before I start, what's the meaning of GPA? GPA means grade point average. This G stands for grade and this P stands for point and this A stands for average. And C GPA stands for cumulative grade point average. If you attended any institution above high school, that's a tertiary institution, be it a university, a polytechnic or any college of education, you must have come across this term. GPA and CGPA. Uh, CGPA are mostly in different formats. Uh, some institutions do four point grading, which is the maximum a person can attain is 4.0. Some institutions, which majority of uh, universities are doing, is 5.0 grading. That's the maximum point a person can attain is 5.00. And there are some institutions that even do 3.0 average grading. Uh, so what is this, how is it calculated, and what's related to the class of degree a person gets? You know there is a class of degree that is first class, there is second class upper, there is second class lower, there is third class, and there is just past degree. And all these, they are stated according to the CGPA, that's the cumulative grade points average of a person of the total semesters he is assessed. Before I go further to showing how to calculate GPA and CGPA, let me define some terms. CR, which is the uh, credit registered. For the semester or the total semesters a person is to be calculated, GPA or CGPA have to register some courses and each course have a certain number of credit unit and the total credit a person register per semester or per the semesters to calculate the points is known as tcr which is total credit registered and there's also ce which is credits and and the total credits and is tce so these two parameters are all needed for a person to know how to calculate GPA and CGPA. As far as he know, the number of credit unit he registered and the grades per the marks he got in. Okay, uh, the most commonly used is the five point grading. I'm going to explain it and even after explaining it, I'll explain how you can convert your five point grading into either 4.0 or 3.0 as the case may be. So before then, let me uh, do some analysis of marks and how they are graded. For five point grading, a person that have gotten from zero marks to 39 marks is said to have an F and F have zero points. And a person that have gotten anything from 40 to 44 is said to have E and E have one point. And any person that have gotten 45 to 49 is said to have D and D is said to have two points. At the same time, a person that have gotten 50 to 59 is said to have C and C have three points. Person with 60 to 69 is said to have B and B have four points. And the person that have gotten 70 to 100 is said to have a and a have the maximum of 5.0 or that's the five points so a person will consider these grades and apart from the grades uh, then the number of credit load of the course he register that is how he can get this parameter i mentioned earlier which is the total credit and or the credits and and if you calculated his credit and 
and he calculated his credit registered that's easily how you can just check the ratio and find his gpa we will have an example at the end of this video so now why did we discuss about the points of each grade because according to the number of credit load you register and the grade you earn that's how you will know the credit you earn that is for example to say if a certain cause is three credit load a three credit load and you get a in three credit load what is the point for a you can recall that we say the point for a is five points to the credit and in that course it will simply be the number of lo credit load times the point and that's 3 times 5 which will be 15 and for example if there's a 2 credit unit course and you get C in it you know that C have 3 points so uh, the credit and here is going to be 2 times 3 which is going to be 6 at the same time, if there is a 4 credit unit course, you score B in it. We know that the point for B is uh, 4. So what is going to be the credit you earn here? The credit you earn is going to be 4 times 4, which is going to be 16. And another scenario, let's say you register for 4 courses in that semester. So if there is another 2 credit load course where you score A, and that A, we know that it have five points. And the credit and now is going to be this two times five, which is going to be 10. So assuming this is the registered uh, courses and this is the credits for that particular semester, we are going to have the total credit registered to be three plus two, which is five, plus four, which is nine, plus two, which is 11. That's the total credit registered tcr is 11 and the total credits and here is going to be uh, cumulatively this tce will give you 15 plus 6 plus 16 plus 10 uh, if you calculate it it's going to give you 47 so the total credit and in this semester is 47 so gpa is simply calculated as TCE that's the total credit and over TCR which is the total credit registered which in this scenario we have 47 over 11 inserting this in your calculator you can see that the points is 4.27 in two decimal places mostly GPA and CGPA are given in two decimal places and GPA is the grade point average per semester. That is to say, in each semester, you are going to have your grade point average. But after all, what matters is the CGPA, which is the cumulative grade point average. And cumulative grade point average, most people do the mistake of adding their GPAs of a particular semesters and taking average. That is to say, for example, someone will add his GPA for first semester, first year, second semester first year and then uh, first semester second year second semester second year and he will then divide by four and be thinking that his gpa actually that's not how gpa cgpa is calculated if you calculate it like that you will see that there are going to be some errors so uh, cgpa is the same thing the same way you calculate gpa but for the total number of semesters you have sat for example that is to say your first GPA, second GPA, third GPA, and continuously until the semester you are trying to know your CGPA for. Okay, uh, the CGPA is going to be the same thing that you will have to add the total credit registered right from your first, uh, right from your first course the first semester and then the total credit and completely for all the semesters then you will do tce over tcr also to know what your cgpa is 
Okay, now let's calculate another semester's GPA and then we will calculate the CGPA that's according to the first and the second semester altogether to see how CGPA is calculated. But before then, uh, let's discuss about the class degree. The class of degree is also related to the CGPA of a person at the end of the day completely. So for the five point grading, a person that have a CGPA of from 4.5 to the maximum of 5.0 is said to have first class degree or first class grading. Then a person with 3.50 to 4.49 is said to have a second class upper. Then a person with a CGPA which from 2.40 all the way to 3.49 is said to have second class lower and a person with CGPA from 1.0 to 2.39 is said to have third class. And anything below this can be considered as either a past degree or a person can even be on probation or on the case of withdrawal as the case of the institution may be. Okay, so now let's discuss about the second semester. We will have the, another GPA calculation and then we will discuss how the CGPA is going to be calculated. So let's say for this other semester, the person registered for five courses. The five courses might have different credit units. So let's have a row for credits registered. That's the number of credits load a person registered. And let's have a column for the grades. And let's have a column for the points. That's the grade points. What point is that grade? And then let's have a column for the credits and. So let's say we say a person have registered for five courses. The number of credit loads, let's say there's a course with one credit load, two credit load, another one with two, then another one with three, and another one with four credit loads. So if he score D for this, and he score F for this, then he score A for this, then he score C for this, and then got A for this. What are the grade points of each grade letters? If you haven't forgotten, we have discussed it before. Which D have two points and F have zero points, A have five points, C have three points, and A have five points. So what's going to be the credit and the credit and is going to be the credit registered multiplied by the points. Here for the first term we will say one times two, which is going to be two. Then 2 times 0, which is going to be 0. So for a person to get F, he's going to get 0 credit and in that course. And F for 5-point grading, we say it's from 0 to 39. And 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 3 is 9. And 4 times 5 is 20. So now what's the total credit and and what's the total credit registered? We can see that the total here is going to be one plus two, which is three, three plus two, which is five, five plus three, which is eight, and eight plus four, which is twelve. Total credit here is twelve, total credit registered. And then here, what's the total credit and? The total credit and is the summation of the credit and from each individual cost. Here we will say 2 plus 0, which is 2, 2 plus 10, which is 12, 12 plus 9, which is 21, and 21 plus 20, which is 41. So a person here have the total credit and of 41. So what is the GPA of this particular semester? This particular semester also have its individual GPA as the total credit and 
divide by the total credit registered which is 41 divided by 12 if you press your calculator co correctly you will see that the TGPA for this semester will give 3.42 that's to two decimal places it's you will see 3.4166 which is 3.42 to two decimal places what matters isn't the GPA of each semester but the cumulative grade point average of the whole semesters and if you spend two semesters the cumulative grade point average is going to be according to the two semesters if you spend three, uh, four semesters or you spend six semesters or eight semesters your cumulative grade point average which is CGPA is going to be calculated all the way from your first semester to your sixth or eighth semester but according to this a scenario we only have two semesters so what's the cgpa the cgpa is going to be the summation of your whole tce over the summation of your whole tcr in this case what is the summation of my whole tce this is for the first earlier semester which is 47 then plus the second semester which is 41 and what is the summation of the total credit registered that is the total TCR for the earlier semester we have 11 and for this semester we have 12 if you have more than two semesters no matter how many semesters they are you will all include the total TCE here and then you will have here 47 plus 41 which is 88 and then here you will have 23 so 88 divided by 23 you will have 3.83 according to two decimal places as your cumulative grade point average you can see that if you just added your GPA for the two semesters and divide by two, you are not going to have this 3.83. You might have something a little bit higher or a little bit uh, lower. It depends on the number of GPAs. For example, if you have eight GPAs, that's from year one to year four. If you are to use this uh, standard formula and uh, have the CGPA, you will have a different value from uh, if you are going to just add your GPAs and divide by the number of semesters you have, there is going to be some errors. Then we earlier talked about uh, if you want to convert your five-point grade into a four-point grade, let's say you have graduated from an institution which is doing four-point grading, and then you want to, let's say you graduated from an institution doing a five-point grading and you want to apply for another institution, which requires for your CGP and it only accept 4.0 grading because that's their standard there. So it's simple. You don't have to go back to your whole GPA. All you need to do is to take out your CGPA. If you take out your CGPA, then multiply it by 4 and divide by 5. Let's say CGPA multiplied by 4 and divide by 5 which is your CGPA in five point grading equivalent in uh, four point grading for example in this scenario where our CGPA happened to be 3.83 it's simple just to say 3.83 times 4 divided by 5 which will give you give you 3.06 so 3.83 in five point grading and 3.06 in four point grading. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learn how you can calculate your GPAs and CGPA for each semester and for the whole semester, even before your result is out. I hope you learn it well and if you have any question, just drop the question in the comment section. I will always be there to answer your questions. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.